Hi everyone, I wanted to share with you today a project share and a little demo of Jane Davenport's new Magic Wands colored pencils. So you'll see here on the right hand side I have her colored pencils out and I have been using these like crazy. Uh, almost as much if not more than her mermaid markers and actually they're a really great way to not only get some great colored pencil effects but to also uh, embellish mixed media that you're working on for instance with the mermaid markers they make a perfect complement to those and so I wanted to upload a, a little video for you today so basically, I had found this paper at Michael's recently. It is mermaid themed and um, I just love the designs and colors in this paper pack. And I wanted to grab my alcohol markers and see how they worked with the magic wands. And I was really pleased with how uh, how well they worked together. So as we go here, you'll kind of see as I talk you through what I'm doing here, um, how well they work together. So basically I started out with this coral colored shell paper and I really enjoy using scrapbook paper with alcohol markers because it is basically like uh, a marker paper or a similar card stock, stock type of paper that you would use normally with alcohol markers. So I'll be using a variety of alcohol markers, mostly Blick Studios. I think there are probably some Copics in here and I also have the Prismacolor Premier alcohol markers. So. I'm just doing some blending, coloring, and shading here. I'm definitely not an expert at alcohol markers, even though I have quite a few of them. I just haven't worked with them enough to, um, to really see their full potential yet, but I love the blending capacity of them. And so basically that uh, scrapbook background I did quite a few of these maybe last summer where I was working a lot with uh, alcohol markers using scrapbook paper because you basically have an instant background. It really adds to the color and design of whatever you draw on top of it. And I started out sketching the mermaid with uh, Jane's magic wand. So I used one of her blue magic ones to uh, to outline this girl and as you can see uh, the alcohol markers work really well with this colored pencil there isn't any smearing or like weird reactions between the two so I think that once again uh, like I have been finding with all the Jane mixed media that I have been buying as often as I can, um, it, it's working really well with yet another type of media. So yeah, just basically the first part of the illustration is going to be with the alcohol markers. I really like the color combination of corals, teals, purples, pinks, and I thought they worked really well too with that shell background that has a really pretty rich coral color. So just filling this in here and doing some of the blending that alcohol markers are famous for and getting some of that really cool shading and uh, you'll see at the end when I upload a couple of high resolution photos you'll see the detail even better um, 
I apologize for the quality of the video here. I haven't been able to get a newer camera. This, the camera that I'm using is actually not that old. And at the time that I bought it, it was considered kind of the highest resolution type camera that you could buy. But we've, um, as technology is moving so fast, there's an even higher definition camera type that you can buy now and when I can I definitely will invest in one but for now this one uh, at least will uh, upload in what it calls high definition of course um, when I compare it to some of the videos I see online that are using the latest technology it's not quite as crisp but I feel like you can still get a really good idea of uh, what I'm working on here so basically uh, in this drawing I used the alcohol markers I believe I use a little bit of pit pen I'm going to be using some white gel pens when I do highlights later and now I'm moving into working with some of the magic wands and giving her skin uh, a nice warm glow with a yellow color. still haven't gotten all the colors down quite yet uh, with Jane's color names but they're all super cute. They have names like heartthrob and mermaid and flamingo so now I'm using her paint over pens to do some highlighting and with the paint over pens I'm not sure exactly what type of ink these use they seem to be very similar to the Faber-Castell pit pen uh, big stampers pen that I use and the only thing with that type of ink is that it does not uh, once you put it down onto your work surface it doesn't take color very well over it so colored pencils um, it resists colored pencils it was resisting the alcohol marker um, and so some of the highlighting I wanted to tone down and was sort of working out different methods to do that. Uh, but in the end, the, uh, the white still came out quite, quite uh, vibrantly, which is a good thing unless you put down a little more than you wanted to and you want to alter it somewhat. Uh, then it is hard to go back over it and recolor it so basically I'm just showing you some of the really cool shading techniques that you can get with the magic wands I really hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one